What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick, this is Full Throttle Cars, and behind me is my 2004 Nissan 350Z. Now if you've been around the channel, you will know that this 350Z is a six speed manual, and I have done some modification to it to be able to drive and use the clutch via a hand control. So this video is gonna be a bit of an overview for the hand clutch system. I've got several questions asking about it, and hopefully this video will be able to answer some of those. I'm gonna go over the different parts that I used, somewhat how I coded it, not the entire code itself, but the basic functions of how I did it and the things that I'm using, the different sensors, the stepper motor, all the stuff and all the components of the system I'm gonna go over in today's video. We'll start things off under the hood here. We've got not a lot of modifications, but you can see we've got a positive wire that's literally hardwired to the battery and then two grounds as well. If you can see back in there, that metal box, that is definitely not stock on the car. That is a converter. It basically is converting the 12 volt car battery into 48 volts for the stepper motor and stepper motor driver. So in here, the first thing you can see, we've got an on off switch down here. That's basically just so that the, since I've hardwired everything to the battery, this is so that way I can turn this on and off and the system's not running all the time. I probably could have, rig this up to the ignition somehow. However, this was the much easier way to do it. And I just flip this on if I want to use it. Running here from the on off switch, power is run underneath the center console, back here to the Arduino uh, load cell and stepper motor driver. The Arduino is the green board you see down there. It is powered by the cigarette lighter, which is very conveniently right here behind the center console. If you're not familiar with Arduino, it's a very easy uh, beginner friendly board that a lot of people use for DIY projects that need some sort of programming uh, or basically entry level computer chip. Some of the wires coming out of the Arduino are going into this load cell amplifier. Now the load cell amplifier, as you might guess by the name of the product, amplifies the load reading coming from the load cell. It basically just makes it easier to use the reading coming out of there. And then you also have to use a multiplier and like a calibration factor and stuff to get it to read correctly in terms of pounds or kilograms, whatever you're measuring in. So what that does, it takes the signal coming from the load cell right here, which is what I pull on when I pull on the bike brake here. Basically, this is a bike brake handle or a motorcycle clutch cable handle whatever that's on the gear shift right here that pulls on this spring, which in turn puts a load on that load cell. And um, this is just the way I did it. There might be easier ways to do this, but this is the way that made the most sense to me. This is bolted to the back here. You can't really see where it goes, but basically it just bolts to a metal frame bracket that's behind all this stuff right here. All this plastic, there's actually a metal bracket back behind the center console area that this is uh, bolted into. All right guys, so next up we have this black box, which is the stepper motor driver. Basically the stepper motor driver tells the stepper motor how fast and how many steps to move. And where I get that from is I take the reading I get from the load cell, multiply it to get the number of steps I need the stepper motor to move down here in order to pull the clutch by a certain amount. So you can see this green coupler down here, all those wires go into the stepper motor driver and that runs down to the stepper motor down here. And I'll show you that when we get there, but I basically just ran everything down through the console and up under the dash over there. In case this is the first video of mine you've seen, how I pull the clutch pedal back is by this handle here. So by however far I pull this back, you can see, let me switch hands here, down here, there is the spring on the load cell. However far I pull this spring, basically puts a greater force on that load cell, which then I turn into the amount of steps that I need the stepper motor to drive, and in turn pull back the clutch. Lastly, we'll take a look down here at the actual stepper motor. The stepper motor you can see here has this black cable. This is where all those wires were running from the stepper motor driver on the inside. I did color those specifically to match what's coming out of the stepper motor that came pre-assembled to the stepper motor because each of those wires going in here 
do have a different function or meaning, I guess you could say. You can't just plug any wire in wherever you choose on the stepper motor driver. There are reasons why there's certain wires in certain places, and the stepper motor and stepper motor driver should have diagrams that show you where those things need to go. You can also look up uh, for specifically for me, I use the Arduino. There's a lot of helpful resources online about how to use an Arduino to power a stepper motor driver. But if you have any specific questions, you can let me know in the comments and maybe I can try to uh, answer those. All right, guys, I want to warn you this next part. I am trying to get you a camera under the driver footwell all the way back to see how this clutch pedal is pulled back by the stepper motor. I got to warn you, it's kind of hard to film under here. So you might not be able to see anything. I'm going to do my best though. So we're going to go under here and you can see the stepper motor here and the clutch pedal there. You've got, if I can zoom in over here, this 16th inch metal braided cable spooled on top of the stepper motor. You can see I've got basically this cable is uh, basically wrapped around this clutch pedal in kind of a cage. And I have the very bottom of the clutch pedal you can see if i go around back there you go you can see a little bit that cable is pulling from the very bottom which is important to get as much torque on this clutch pedal as possible so that way it will pull back all the way and then also you can see what's that around there around that cable it's duct tape duct tape is used one to uh, hold the loose part of this cable on there so it's not just dangling also acts as a little bit of a protector of the cable so it doesn't get uh, like sheared and rubbed off on the pulley back here because this pulley unfortunately is not in the best location. I misdrilled the first time and uh, so needless to say it is not in the perfect location and thus the duct tape is to help prevent the cable from grinding on the pulley. So if we can get a little bit of a better look there on the pulley in the back you can see the stepper motor here and the cable comes around here all the way back to that pulley. Again, I'm sorry guys, this is so difficult to film. I gotta hold the flashlight and camera and focus the camera. I hope you can see okay. Anyways, so this cable comes around the pulley, pulls on the clutch pedal by however many steps I tell the motor to step. And this is just basically bolted, that pulley back there bolted to the footwell with a couple bolts you can see there. Also, in the same fashion, this uh, metal bracket right here, it is, or not metal bracket, wood bracket with the metal bolt. The metal bolts are just bolted through this wood into the floor pan down here. So a lot of kind of rough stuff, but this was the simplest and easiest way to do this without very many custom components. So there was the overview of my hand clutch system. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I apologize, this video is not very high quality. Uh, definitely not one of the higher quality videos on the channel. It is a combination of a couple things. First off, some of this stuff to film is kind of difficult, especially down here in the footwell. Also combined with I'm in the garage in the winter. It's cold, it's dark, uh, but I did the best I could trying to get you guys something to... Uh, at least give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm talking about with this hand clutch and hopefully give some of you guys that were looking at maybe doing this yourself a better idea of what I was doing. In the summertime, I will try to make another one of these videos uh, that's a lot better quality and throw in some in-person driving clips so I can explain uh, and go back and forth between in-car and driving a little bit more. Uh, but again, I apologize for the roughness of this video. I hope I get the point across on the function of everything. And again, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Another video coming in the summer. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.